everyone, and welcome to our online children's ministry, where we come together to talk about the Bible. As you know, we won't be gathering at church for worship on Sunday for a while. You also don't have school. That's a lot of change all of a sudden. Change, change can be really hard or make us feel nervous, but it can be exciting too. Right now, we're working together to keep people healthy by putting a pause on school and church and other places that crowds may be. It's really awesome that so many people are working together to help one another. And even though we aren't meeting at church, we still want to stay connected to you and God's Word. Right! Even though there's all this change going on, God's Word is still here and God's Word doesn't change. So we'd like to share it with you. Some people didn't like Jesus, so they tried to trick him with questions. God's law says, love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. So who is my neighbor? They asked. Jesus answered with a story. A man walked alone on a country road. Robbers attacked him. They beat him and stole everything he had. A teacher of God's law saw the man lying in the road, but he passed by without helping. Another religious man came along, but he looked the other way too. Finally, a man from Samaria came along. He saw the injured man lying there, and he hurried to help. He bandaged his wounds and took him to the nearest inn and cared for him. With his own money, he provided for the man until he was well. Which of these three people was the best neighbor? Jesus knew that the wise teachers didn't like people from Samaria, but now they had to admit that the Samaritan had done what was right. The one who helped, they answered. That's right, Jesus said, and that's what you should do. Anyone and everyone is our neighbor. From James 2 verse 8, if you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. I want you to show love and kindness to those who are different from you, and even to those who are mean to you. This shows everyone your great love for me, Jesus. Ask me to help you love other people with my love. Let it flow through you to others. If you're looking for ways to share God's love during this time when we're stuck indoors, you can make pictures or cards for those who may need some extra encouragement. Feel free to mail your cards or pictures yourself, or you can mail them to Pastor Sarah and she'll get them to those people who are looking for some extra encouragement. Also, if you have questions about the Bible or a favorite Bible story that you'd like to see us do on this online children's ministry video, you can send an email to Pastor Sarah indicating those questions or those videos. Uh, if your parents want to know more information, they can look at the description below and find that address and email address to send all that information to. Until next time, stay safe!